Hello friends. In our previous video, of Bank Reconciliation Statement, we have discussed, that the balance of, bank column, in the cash book, and, bank passbook, will come same, if, all the banking transactions, are recorded, regularly. But, sometimes, we find, balance of, both the records, are not same. Now, what are the reasons, for this difference? Reasons, for this difference, may be, classified, in any one of, these three categories. The first is, due to, timing difference, of recording transactions, in both the books. For example, checks issued, but not yet, presented for payment. Checks deposited, into the bank, but not yet, cleared, or credited, into the, bank account. In the, second category, we include, those items, which we, normally do not, record in the cash book, until we receive, bank statement, for example, bank charges and bank interest, amounts, directly deposited, into the bank account, amounts, directly paid, by the bank, under, standing orders, and, dishonored checks, and, in the third category, we include any error, either, made by the business, in the cash book, or by bank, in the pass book. Now, let's take, an example. Hello friends, in this video I will show you why sometimes on a particular date balance of cash book and uh, bank pass book do not come same. Here we have cash book and uh, bank pass book and currently both the books are showing same balance of dollar 3000 cash book showing balance of dollar 3000 and passbook is also showing balance of dollar 3000 let's consider some banking transactions our first transaction in this video which is conducted on january 25th is a sold goods and received check of dollar 1000 which is deposited into the bank on the same day now the entry for this transaction is bank debit and sales account credit with dollar 1000 and as bank account is debited in the entry so this transaction will be recorded on the debit side of cash book in the bank column in the bank column first we will write the amount dollar 1000 and in column for particular we will write sales account so this is the recording of first transaction in the cash book now question comes that when bank will record this transaction in the passbook it is very clear that bank will record this transaction in the passbook only on the day on which uh, uh, this check amount dollar 1000 is received by the bank not before that now suppose till january 31st the last day of the month this check amount is not collected by the bank so bank will not pass any entry for this transaction in the passbook and on january 31st we will find difference in the balance of both the books on january 31st cash book will show balance of dollar 4000 and passbook will show balance of dollar 3000 now let's see the second transaction which is conducted on january 28 and the second transaction is direct deposit by a customer into the bank account dollar 2000 now bank will record this transaction in the passbook bank will write this amount dollar 2000 in the column for uh, deposit and in column for particular bank will write cash received and uh, immediate after this the balance of uh, passbook will become dollar 5000 and this transaction will not be recorded in the cash book until we receive the copy of the bank statement and till then both the books will show different balance now next transaction which is conducted on January 29 and uh, the transaction is bank charges charged by bank dollar 200 so bank will record this transaction in the passbook bank will write this dollar 200 in the column for withdrawal and in column for particular bank will write bank uh, charges and immediate after the balance uh, of passbook uh, will come 4800 5000 minus 200 4800 now again this transaction will not be recorded in the cash book until we receive the copy of the bank statement so till then both the books will show different balance 
now our last transaction which is conducted on january 30th and the transaction is purchase goods and issued check of dollar 3000 and now the entry for this transaction is purchase debit and bank account credit with dollar 3000 and as bank account is credited so this entry will be recorded on the credit side of the cash book in the bank column in the bank column first we will write uh, the amount dollar 3000 and in column for particular we will write uh, uh, the name of the opposite account which is purchase account and now bank will record this transaction in the passbook only on the day on which uh, supplier of the goods present this check into the bank for the payment purpose and if the supplier doesn't present this check into the bank for the payment purpose then bank will not record this transaction in the passbook and again both the books will show different balance on january 31st and now if we see the balance of both the books on uh, january 31st we will find that both the books are showing different balance cash book is showing balance of dollar 1000 and passbook is showing balance of dollar 4800 and as both the books are not showing same balance so at the end of the month uh, we need to prepare bank reconciliation statement in order to reconcile the balance of both the books and uh, to ensure that uh, this difference is not because of any misappropriation of money either in the business or in the bank and uh, how to prepare bank reconciliation statement this we will discuss in our next video so i look forward to see you in the next video